Be seeing ya! If you must meet with my sister, I shall speak plainly. Aurelia is one of the wealthiest creatures in the galaxy, but do not be fooled by the fine furs and priceless jewels she wears. She has the heart of a bandit. She takes what she wants. She believes in nothing but herself. If she had the charisma of Tyrene or the cunning of Troy, she would have started her own cult long ago. She has found her true family in the Calypsos. <laughs> So the whore reaches for the cash. I knew you'd come. A vault hunter's loyalty is always for sale. Come to the manor and you'll get your money. You didn't have too 
much health and shields. Buy some today. Heck, buy some now. If you're waiting for a lollipop, well, wait somewhere else. why you're gonna sit there and let me have my say. Here it is, my say. I ain't the one, Monty. I ain't the one. You're getting older, who knows how many years you got left, so you're thinking about your heir. Well, that Clay's the man for the job. He's the son you wanted all this time anyway. What a sight, a reformed smuggler leading Jacobs into the horizon. Me, I'm gonna live my life. I ain't much of a gunslinger, and all those bastards out there, that means I ain't a Jacobs. But this ain't Alistair's doing, do you hear me? It's my say. About damn time I had it. Oh, and feel free to mow down the Calypso's followers along the way. Followers, servants. All nearly as dispensable as Vault Hunters. Got me a job held by the witch. Up to no good, I'd wager. Wait well, out. I'm Merle, spelled like Hurl. Warlock of the Seventh Day Left, practitioner of the Fiery Arts. Got me a right problem with this witch lives down Bogway. I think she broke the bat. Need you to go help her out with some chores and see if you can't find out what she's up to. Her name's Azalea Splinters, a right crazy bird. Now, I need you to figure out whether she done broke her vow to the pack we's in. And that's packed with a capital P, mind you. Super secret heavy occult stuff.
just play cool, Vault Hunter. But being a right powerful dog practitioner and all. Hey, heard you need help with something? Ow! You must be the new errand runner I called for. Excellent. <laughs> oh. Gather some green swamp loom mushrooms so that I might perfect my brew. My little truffle hunter Pippi will show you where to find him. But Pippi still don't know the difference between the green mushrooms and the red ones. Only bring me the green ones, okay, dear?
Hang on to them there red caps for a minute. I'll put them to good use in a tick-tock or two. Uh, it's time to open you up. Oh, yes! You got enough swamp blooms for my... Uh, purposes. <laughs> now come on back for... The Brewing Ritual. <laughs> Now do me a kindness, dear, and drop those roots right into my double, double brand trouble cauldron. <laughs> The crushing bone, the night splitter, the ones who wait beneath the mud. Worshiping two social media stars? Well, there's some dark paths old Merle will not follow. A few moons back, I figured out how to make a righteous boom brew in this here cauldron. Drop them red caps in there and stand back. some of that boom brew down in this here nade chucker. Should help you break into her bog, destroy her cauldrons, and rid us of that fire witch once and for good. Now, go get her. Those who turn from the pact must be punished with excommunication from life, also known as death.
Alpha. Bring us that awful wind to the witch. That's all for you, son. Also, and this is not a here nor there, mind you, but she always brought those first cookies to the last week. Stitch a bitch.
Corporation, Karagawa Jr. But this will only serve to strengthen our resolve and our steadfast... Thanks for turning that tower to our side, sugar. That should get the Calypso's <clears throat> attention. Let's do this thing. Bullets are dry. Infuse that boom brew down into this grenade mod. Hope you like it. You sure showed that bitch what for. I mean, I mean which. Wait, what did I say? Oh hell, who cares? She dead. I must say, I admire how the Calypsos convinced every illiterate piece of talking meat to worship them with blind devotion. Makes a rich bitch want a cult of her own. Perhaps when my business here is finished.
I'm in. It rustles my jackboots to see that harp here chilling my ancestral halls. My family's portraits were thrown out into the gully with no more pomp than a spent sheep gut. What I wouldn't give to introduce her to the business end of my shotgun. As I'm heading to the estate one day, I hear somebody shooting and cursing. So I go around the corner and find this boy Wainwright, pistol in hand, trying to shoot cans off a fence. I ain't no gunslinger, but the kid, he was a terrible shot. Squinting and licking his lips and cursing and saying he'd never be a Jacobs. Then I figure out why. Kid's blind in one eye. So I come up to him and say, hey kid, try a shotgun. Search the cabaret. I'll be with you in just a moment. Wait for me in the dining hall and we'll discuss your payment. Hall. So, Clayton, you wish to speak to me? Clay's fine. Old Monty just got a generous offer on the Jacobs Corporation. He turned it down, of course, but I thought you'd want to know it came from one Aurelia Hammerlock. I assure you she cares little for Jacobs itself. This is about me. Figured out that much myself. But your sister doesn't strike me as a type to let things lie. You know her, Alistair. Is this the end or the beginning? The lizard. Afraid you lost me there. Once, when we were children, my sister and I found an extremely rare lizard in the woods near our home. A magnificent specimen. Aurelia wanted to keep it as a pet, but my sister has never been one for cultivating life, shall we say. I nurtured it in secret, despite her insisting the lizard was hers. I labored to build it a proper habitat, natural flora, the right balance of water and sunlight, ample food, of course. But one day I returned to find the lizard dead. The water level was too high. There were scratch marks on the glass, where it had clawed madly for air. And you blamed yourself? I did, at the time. Only later did I realize what my sister had done. She had left a block of ice in the habitat to slowly melt, forcing the lizard to scramble ever higher until it was too late. Had she simply wanted to kill it, she could have done so. But that's not her way. Aurelia wanted me to believe that I was to blame. Well, luckily we ain't lizards. An astute observation. But now, as I look around, I wonder how long the waters have been rising. Thank you. 
Holy me! You should see the look on your stupid face! Come on, thief! As promised. Not bad, Baroness. But you still owe us a vault key. I am working on it as we speak. Well, I will leave you to your fun. Good doing business with you, Vault Hunter. <laughs> this is awesome. We haven't really had a chance to get to know each other, huh? And Ty's been doing most of the talking. She does that, right? She's the center of the galaxy, and the rest of us just sort of orbit around her. But things are changing. Freaking look at me! I've never felt this good in my life! Whoa! What is this? What is this? Your siren friend? She didn't know what she had. With this power, I can pull the stars out of the goddamn sky. You know, Tyreen says we should let you keep playing along. Yeah, a little competition gets our followers all riled up. <laughs> but I'm not one of them. No, not anymore. And I'm done getting tables and reps. Fill your hands, you zealot scum! Huh? Oh, I'ma kill you! Come and get me, you rat-faced bastard! Search the cabaret. I'll keep this punk ass rat boy running around like a jabber with its bunghole on fire. Guess they couldn't hack it. Let's get some more fighters out here! The grave is your reward! Got a dead guy here, Wainwright. Why, that's Baldrin, our family butler. He knew where all the bodies were buried, and now it seems he's joined them. My father always suspected him of recording their conversations. See if he managed to capture his own untimely end. Nearby. It'll be triple locked, so find the three catches to open it up.
in Jacob's Manor with dignity and honor, and I intend to stay right here. Unless you want it going public that you've gotten into bed with... Sadly, we're in a bit of a hiring freeze at the moment. Seems Baldwin was still a loyal servant in his own way. If he did have blackmail against Aurelia, he'd have given it to the other staff for safekeeping. Look in the servants' quarters. drop. Freak 
kill. Yeah! Ha! Siren friend couldn't do? Yes! Feel my power run through you! Well, whatever! Kill as many anointed as you want! I'll keep making them. 
My army is endless. But you know what? I've got more important crap to do. Right. Now that the rat boy's out of our hair, let's get to business. The trap door to my father's study has a trick latch. You'll need to figure out the solution. Get up to the technician's booth. looking for down here. I'm not entirely sure. My father said he kept all his records down there. Look for something record-like. Back to you. Leaving so soon? Very well. Let me at least explain myself. You mean nothing to me, so I sold you to the Calypso twins. But so you know, I will get the vault key because I'm rich. And rich people get what they want. <clears throat> Huh? <laughs> 
slip is made out to one Claire Connolly. Why, well, I remember her. She was a dining attendant. Always kept my father's cup full. Track her down and see if she knows where the blackmail is stashed. Aurelia? That icy bitch fired me. Didn't even give me my back pay. All she offered me was this old ass wine. Ugh, tastes like freaking cyanide. You want dirt on her? I hid something out in the abandoned shack. Baldwin got some pretty ugly recordings before he got the icicle. Wait, that was actual cyanide! Seems kind of... Cold? Troy, dear, you'll figure this out. 
this out eventually. Family is just another word for war. And the sister always wins. Now, show me again what you can do with your new powers. Gladly, Baroness. <laughs> Siren rat boy and killed my father just to be richer than Alistair. I was feeling a bit lonely without any surviving immediate family, but now I wonder if perhaps I'm better off. Bring that echo back to me. Vault Hunter! So you spoke with my sister and lived to tell the tale! Never mind the harpy. That record. May I see it, Vault Hunter? Hey there! Howdy! Still can't believe the Calypso's murdered my father. I need to get my record player working, but you know Aurelia's gonna send all those damn zealots to find us. If we're gonna last long enough to open that vault, We'll need an army of our own. I'm talking a Jacob's resistance. It's time to take back Eden Six, and we'll start with the town of Reliance. I hired a gunslinger named Clay to lend a hand. He's waiting for you outside the town. So you've met my sister. Sorry. Thank you, Vault Hunter. I can't imagine Alistair would want his sister's private indiscretions flaunted around. Her public ones trouble him enough. I'll find a good place for this, such as a furnace, or some sort of large device that burns furnaces. Where did I leave my tarot deck? So you've met my sister. Sorry about that. Do what you love and you'll never work a day. But start tomorrow, I have work for you. While incarcerated by the children of the vault, I joined a gang. For protection as well as camaraderie. Good fellows, freedom fighters and ruthless criminals, and often both. If you would kindly check up on them, I would be most grateful. You can find them at the prison. I sense someone intruding on my thoughts. Another beautiful day. <laughs> 